Hello all, welcome to part 59 of Test NG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use thread pool size attribute in Test NG. So let's get started. Thread pool size attribute need to be used along with invocation count attribute. Okay, as we already know, invocation count attribute is used with at the rate test annotation like this. At the rate test, invocation count is equal to some 5 or 10, whatever you can give. That particular test method will either run 5 times if you specify 5. If you specify 10, it will run. Same test method will run 10 times because of the invocation count. On the top of this invocation count, we can provide one more attribute known as thread pool size to enable the parallel execution of the test. Okay, though this particular same test method is going to run multiple times, but if you want at a time multiple tests to run, okay, though test 10 times it has to run, but if you enable the parallel execution using the thread pool size, okay, every time two browsers will open. For example, if you specify thread pool size is equal to two, okay, two browsers, two browsers will run at a time, two tests will run at a time, only if, okay, in five iterations it will be done. It's actually 10 iterations, but two browsers at a time. That's what is parallel is execution, right? So we can enable the parallel execution for invocation count using thread pool size, guys. I'll practically demonstrate that for you. As you can see here, here only invocation count is there. If I specify 10, okay, first I will specify invocation count is equal to 10 and I will not specify the thread pool size without that how the tests are running in a sequential manner one by one. Let's see. After one test is completed, another test will be running. Only one browser will launch at a time. After that browser is closes, second browser will launch. Okay, it will happen 10 times. This code that I have written Selenium code is already explained as part of the previous session, guys. So the same code we are using. It is generating the random number and printing in the output. Okay. Second time is done. Third time is done. Fourth time it is done. Fifth time it is done. Sixth time done. Seventh time done. Eighth time done. Ninth time done. And final time also done. Okay, total 10 times. So here, if you can see, it has taken almost around 47 point some seconds. And here, the test got executed in a sequential manner, one after the another one. What if I use this uh, attribute known as uh, thread pool size, okay, which, which need to be used along with the invocation count. Thread pool size is equal to okay if i give it as uh, let's say two at a time two browsers okay two tests will run at a time okay that means two five or ten something like that okay you can understand that right parallel execution run this two browsers at a time will run let's not disturb what is happening on the screen two chrome browsers will launch and two random numbers will be printed forty seven three got printed Again, two browsers got launched. Let it run, guys. Total 10 tests. Total 10. And it took 82. Okay. So more time actually. So it happens, guys. Okay. The, because we are running on a single machine. That's okay. Thread pool sizes uh, will make the enable the parallel execution go though. Okay. Fine. Mm, so this is what is the thread pool size attribute which has to be used with the invocation count to enable the parallel execution of the same test to be executed multiple times. Okay. So hope guys you understood how to use that pool size attribute with the invocation count attribute uh, of at the rate test annotation test methods. Okay, to enable the parallel execution of the test of. Okay, so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test engine topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.